we are talking about restoring a blackstone griddle from ugly to pretty okay we have a video out there and i think it's titled like how to use a grill brick because i truly believe that a grill brick is probably your best bet for most people we get a lot of responses that hey you should use an angle grinder or you should use a grinder of some sort so we have one today the reason why i mentioned why a grill brick is so much more efficient is because most people have access to this for under 10 15 bucks this cost you roughly 100 bucks maybe 15 bucks for the head some griddles out there are only 250 bucks sometimes you find them off uh, marketplace and you refurbish them yourself and then use them some are given to them for free so i'm just looking at the common user out there so what we're going to do today is refurbish the griddle i'm going to take the left side and i'm going to grill brick it and then the right side, we're going to use the grinder to get everything off, re-season it. We're going to get all the dirt, debris, and rust off the griddle, high temp paint it, and bring it back to life. All right, before the video starts, this is what it looks like after it's done. I'm not going to do a lot of talking, and some of you guys out there are going to say, finally, he shuts up. The point is, I'm going to give you a true and honest restoration style video we're going to just like skim through it have a little music playing relax not doing a lot of talking because i think there's a lot that goes into it i'm not going to hide anything and i'm going to let you guys just kind of like pick apart what you like to see so we've done high heat paint we've done a grinder we've done a grill brick we've done some soap and water um a water hose and other than that it's basically how much you value your time right you can nitpick it to where you could like restore it all the way back from like a grind it down on the exterior uh, you can primer it, you can paint it, and you can look at, make it look brand new. I'm not necessarily that picky. I just want to make sure the top looks fantastic. All right, you can see the lid has some damage, some rust. And then this is a very common thing that we see throughout the griddle group, through on Facebook, throughout uh, the internet. Uh, it's pitted, it's rusted, and it is in desperate need of a repair. So this is the idea. Like I mentioned, this left side is going to be grill brick, and this side we're going to use that angle grinder. It's not really about which one's better. I do believe that once you hook something up to power, it's got a lot of power to go through it and it's a lot faster. I just want to reiterate that most people don't have that option. Not everybody is a handyman. Not everybody has the tool. We have both female and male audiences that have different experiences. So for them, you know, sometimes it's about convenience. So that's what we're looking at. So to get this party started, we're going to take the griddle off. Let me show you something really quick. Now I'm done. You can see here, I've already done it on the first three. I just got a sheet of aluminum foil. And the point is, I just put the aluminum foil around there because when you're chipping away at stuff, dirt, grime, debris, moisture, I don't want to clog my holes up and that's where the, your flames come through. So we don't want a problem later. So simply enough. Just like that should do it. Right before we get started, I just want to show you the list of items that we're using. I mentioned the angle grinder, check. This is the pumice stone or grill brick. It doesn't matter. Blackstone actually makes a grill cleaning kit uh, that has a pumice stone and a couple uh, scrapers and all that stuff. It doesn't matter where you get it, just get it. And then you got your granny weenies and or scrubbies. This one just happened to come from Camp Chef. Pit Boss makes their own as well, so I'm just showing you all the options out there. And then when it comes to degreaser slash grimers, you know, Traeger makes them, Pit Boss makes them. We got your good old Dawn and a little Gooby Gone oven or great cleaner if we need it. And with that being said, that's pretty much the idea. I'm gonna wear some gloves. Uh, there's some pretty sharp edges. I don't think it's gonna protect me, but it, all that grease and grime. And then other than that, we're just gonna get started and see how good we can make this thing look.
tires right up. That's good. Yep. All right, so we've grounded most of it down. I'm not really worried about all this. This light browning that you're seeing right here is actually just the from the hard patina to light patina. So um, that's not rust. That's just the 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 layers of the oil. So I've kind of split it down the middle, and I'm going to work on the grill brick um, and just show you the difference. We've heated the griddle up um, just for a second, just for a quick second. You don't want this too hot. You got to be able to put your hands on the griddle and all that stuff. So you don't want it too hot, but a little bit of heat will work. And the reason is it just kind of helps loosen the debris. Just use a grill brick. And then it's basically a thing of muscle and time. So it doesn't matter what rotation you use, whether or not you're going um, in circular motions or up and down. It's the same idea. The whole idea is just get the griddle back to the surface uh, that we need to start with. So all the rust off, all the dirt, all the debris, everything. I'm not gonna nitpick about how you clean it, how you clean it's up to you, how you resurface it is up to you. I'm just giving you options. There's another option, the third option, you can take it to like a metal company and they can sandblast it. I've called two of them in Knoxville, 25 to $45. You just unhook the griddle top, take it to there. Now that's a workout, both of them. Uh, so you can see here, not as much black came off, but the whole point of this is getting the rust off. Now there's gonna see, be some people that argue, oh, you didn't take it down to bare metal, da da da. Well, you don't have to, right? When you reseason cast iron and all that other junk, all you're looking to do is just take that first layer off, get the rust off of there. So the seasoning and the oils have something to bond to. And it doesn't matter if there's a layer of seasoning already on there or not. Matter of fact, it might help you because that's a pretty strong layer of seasoning to begin with. So this is extremely washed, clean. I'm going to finish kind of like touching it up in the corners, just making sure everything is good to go. And then like normal, it's the seasoning process. Just show you really quick, we got the lid done, cleaned up. I'm not worried about the surface rust on here. It has nothing to do with the griddle itself. Alrighty, so there we go. So I would be interested to see how long the griddle surface would last considering one side was grill brick, one side was angle grinded. I don't know if there's a difference. We won't know until we get there. The seasoning looks pretty uh, even to me. Uh, like most black stones, the front edge is pretty light. We can reverse the griddle later if we need to. Uh, but overall, pretty pleased. Um, I'm not really particular when it comes to high heat paint. I'm just more worried about sanding the, uh, the rust off, getting some paint on there and be done with it. Like I mentioned in the first part of the video, there's a lot of people that are a lot more perfectionist or they want things done, you know, in a certain way. When it comes to griddle cooking and restoring stuff, we got it for 50 bucks, right? So this right here will last me as long as I want to. So I'm not really worried about the odds and ends. I'm more focused on the griddle surface. Other than that, that's it. There's a black, another black stone on the deck. This makes my fourth or fifth. So pretty excited about it. Be able to cook some stuff up. If you guys want to uh, comment below, just do that. If you have any questions, um, comment below about the restoration and all that stuff. I'll be glad to answer them. As always, find us on Instagram. Find us on Facebook, The Griddle Group. Hit that join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press the subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share with your friends. Peace.